got yourself into now, boy. What's up, party people? Welcome back to another video. And I got to tell you, man, it is so wet around here. I think to get some bike content out, it's going to be a little bit before the trails are open. But um, hopefully it's going to be warmer tomorrow. So hopefully I can do some, uh, some dirt jump riding. But until then, let's do a van update and uh, see where we are. All right. So um, step one of van life is choosing a van platform. And uh, you guys probably saw in a previous video, I was out at the Ford place and I was kind of looking at the Ford Transit and I actually pulled the trigger for a couple different reasons. Um, Ford's coming out with a refresh uh, in the fall of this year for the Transit van and part of that refresh is an all-wheel drive system which is fairly attractive to me but um, I think with the extra weight and the price point it's probably uh, um, it's probably one of those things that would be a nice to have and not necessarily um, something that I need to have. So um, given that the incentives and the holdbacks on the 2019 mod models were excellent, um, I shopped at the, I think it was either the first or the second largest commercial volume dealer uh, in North Carolina. So I walked in and got a pretty daggone good deal on this 2019 uh, Ford Transit 250 uh, with the medium roof and a 148 inch wheelbase. And uh, I walked out of there with this thing as cheap as you can buy uh, 2018s and uh, 2017s used. So feeling pretty good about that. I'll talk a little bit about it, but it's about as basic as you can get. So the goal for this thing is to be able to get this motorcycle, my dirt jumper bike, and my mountain bike all in that van along with two people and all the... Uh, the amenities that uh, kind of enable van life. Um, I've already started getting some of the gear in. Um, I've got my refrigerator fridge uh, domatique in. Uh, I've got some some niceties, uh, some ref some uh, wind deflectors or rain deflectors to go over the, the side windshield. I got some floor mats in. So um, I'll be installing that stuff over the coming days. But uh, I've got to get a uh, a roof access ladder put on the back here and uh, that'll help me get on the top and actually lay out solar panels and lay out the uh, the uh, ventilation fan that's coming in pretty soon so um, once I get up there and lay that out I'll figure out I think I'm probably gonna go just start off with minimal solar at this point which will be uh, 200 amp hours of uh, battery time 200 watt solar panels and all the things that uh, go with that including the uh, battery isolator um, so i can charge off the alternator as well as uh, from the solar uh, an inverter probably a 3000 watt inverter um, also um, you know all the various 12 volt components that will will actually work off of the uh, the batteries uh, one being my fridge there um, the fan, some LED lights, and uh, some of the other stuff. So, yeah, so this is the 3.7 liter V6. Um, van's empty right now, so it doesn't ride that great without any weight on the back. But uh, soon enough, we'll, we'll start building it out. Let's take a look inside, and I'll show you how basic it really is. I don't know if I can find the keys. Step number two in van life. When you're used to having RF keys and not having to take them out of your pocket, you tend to lose your keys. All right, so pretty basic in the inside. Basic radio, basic gray interior. I do love the seating position and the seating. I'm not too excited about the seats. They're not the best in the world. And it feels like that armrest would break off pretty easily. Um, I have a fuse panel off because I'm about to hardwire uh, my dash cam and I also have a radar detector I need to hardwire in. So I'll be showing that and I'll be up under that uh, access panel under the steering wheel there. And uh, as far as the back right now, let's see, it's pretty dark in here. Let me see if I can get some lights going. There we go. All right. 
So most of these uh, these uh, transit vans, I mean, they're meant for you know tradesmen and and the such, so they come pretty basic. Usually, the options that come on them are the 373 limited slip differential, along with um, this kind of uh, liner in the inside. So I'll end up taking that out as I start to fur this thing out and uh, build the walls and the roof. Um, let's see, what else? Okay, let's talk a little bit about the height of this van. So this is a medium roof and I went with the medium roof. Um, you know, it, was, it was a tough decision. I really wanted to stand up inside, but uh, at the end of the day, looking at high, the height of the, uh, um, the high roof along with the ventilation fan on top, it was just so high. I just felt like the wind and the, the crosswinds and everything, it would just it would just be worse on fuel mileage. It would just add to uh, the sway of the vehicle. So uh, I decided to go with the medium roof. And uh, I'll show you, in case you're wondering, if you can stand up in the medium uh, roof van. All right, so here you go. So this the, the roof is curved, and the highest point's right here in the middle. Um, so if I look at my head, I'm five, nine and a half. And here's the eye beam ahead of me here. So my hair, it probably stands up another three quarters, maybe an inch, is rubbing the eye beam as I speak. Right, and if you go further and further over, you'll, you'll knock your head on it if you're not careful. So, um, I will be doing some stooping, but I don't think that's a bad trade-off for this van. So what I will say is if you're taller than five, nine and a half, um, and you want to stand up, you probably want to, uh, actually I'd add a couple of inches of that because, uh, or subtract a couple of inches from that because by the time I take this floor out and by the time I fur out these, uh, cross beams here and put roof on and then put insulation and put a floor on, you can probably take away another inch and three quarters, maybe inch and a half. So I would say, um, anybody over probably 5'8", you're probably not going to be able to stand up here and walk through. But either way, I think it was a good trade-off. I'm pretty happy with the, the purchase decision. They do have these, let's see here if I can get them in the picture, these cool LED lights that go. So the next thing I'll do is, um, besides starting to uh, install all the goodies on the roof like the solar and the uh, ventilation, I'm actually going to remove this black liner. Uh, and start measuring things and start to buy my insulation, some of the sound deadening that will go over the wheel wells. Um, so let's test out something else. Um, the distance between wall to wall here um, and see if I can actually lay down and that will tell me if I'll be able to get a bed that goes crossways or if I'm gonna have to come up with some other kind of creative solution. It looks fairly short so I think I'm gonna be too tall. Let's try it. Yeah, so there's my feet, and so my head, I can't put it all the way down. So once we add the insulation and panels, um, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to lay this way, but I might be able to lay diagonally a little bit to get more room, like this. Uh, so either way, there's a solution to the problem. I'm trying to get in a motorcycle in here as well, so what I might do is come up with a different solution than actually having a bed cross horizontally. Um, maybe some type of bed that folds out from both sides. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, we'll figure it out. That's the fun of this thing. Um, I'm going to have the most fun uh, hooking this thing up with the uh, with the electrical um, because that's, that's my thing. Um, so uh, Getting all the cables pulled and getting all the uh, the battery equipment and the isolation monitors and all the solar charging, all that stuff going is going to be pretty cool. And then uh, I'll start to build out a little bit. I'll build out a bed, but um, plans are I'm not going to go all out to begin with. I'm going to I'm going to do some experiments. So I'm going to build out the very basics and I'm going to a few trips and stay gone for you know a couple of weeks at a time and figure out okay. These are the things that I need. These are the places that I need them to be. And then I'll start to kind of anchor those down at that point and start to build uh, new things at that point once I figure out what I actually need. I do plan on having um, means to cook uh, water 
a primitive water system, so probably like a, a gray water tank, a fresh water tank, and uh, a small sink with a hand pump, maybe a foot pump, it just depends. Um, maybe even a primitive shower system for, uh, for those summer days uh, but um, and winter days. But uh, yeah, it's going to be cool and uh, can't wait to build this thing out. All right, so the other thing you'll notice is I actually went with a model without any windows uh, in the back. So it's just a box in the back. Um, and sliding door on the passenger side. So let's see what else. Um, you know, I like the split doors. They have these little magnets built in. So uh, the doors actually stay open. And the other thing I got to do is I've got to mount a hitch receiver um, up under the rear here. And I may pull shore power in somewhere. And I may also pull in, uh, I definitely got to pull in some battery connectors for a winch or something of the sort for a rear hitch receiver. Uh, I think I'm gonna, once these tires wear out, I'm gonna get some, uh, some all-terrain tires and that in conjunction with a winch, I feel like that and the weight of this van, I can probably go 95% of the places that I need to go without getting stuck. And if I do get stuck, I'll rely on the winch. So right now, just doing a couple of things to get it prepared to go out on the road. I'll probably throw a coat of wax on it just to keep it protected. I've already rain x the windshield, uh, the side windows, and uh, I'll throw some wax on the headlights and the mirrors. It just helps getting the, the bugs off and there's gonna be a lot, of, a lot of mileage going on. So yeah, should be fun. I think also too, I'll figure out what to do with this little space between the seats. You know, it could be a nice storage unit uh, for the back and then, you know, kind of double as a, uh, as maybe even a armrest or whatever for the uh, for the passenger side. So, so I have a ladder on the way, and once I get the ladder installed, I'll start laying out the uh, solar and the ventilation fans on top. I'm planning on going with uh, probably three monocrystalline flexible solar panels. That'll give me 300 watt panels, so I'll have 300 watts of, uh, of solar. And then um, I think I'm gonna go with these LifePOF batteries instead of uh, lead acid batteries. Um, they're more expensive, but I think uh, the payoff in the long run. The LifePO ones are a little bit uh, less hazardous than the lithium ion. So I think I'm gonna probably go with something like the, the Battleborn batteries, but uh, haven't quite made up my mind yet. Um, one of the things I might do is uh, is actually put in case all of the electronics in the acrylic instead of uh, doing plywood for everything. Put some LED lights in there, just kind of showcase how it's um, wired up and cabled up. But uh, I haven't messed around with acrylic since I've been in college, so we'll have to see how that goes. But uh, and see how the budget is. But uh, yeah, so that's it. So um, the other thing I'll also say is that I will be posting a lot more now. Um, I might be posting, uh, you know, long, longer videos, more times a week, and then also some short updates on van life as well. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, it's hopefully it's going to get warmer here. The spring's coming. Hopefully the ground dries out. I am so super pumped to get back on the bike. I want to do some hiking, I want to do some kayaking, I want to do some tubing, I want to do some swimming, um, some rope jumping, uh, all kinds of things this, uh, this spring and summer. So um, stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. I know this is a mountain bike channel, but uh, you know part of, part of mountain biking is getting to the mountains and this van's going to get me there. So bear with me. There will be mixed content. and. Uh, until next time, you know what to do. Skill up and ride and van up and go.